All right, I'm nutty like a squirrel. I'm all over the place here. So I got some, uh, <laughs> we're playing some axles, axles, RC car. Or, uh, this is a drive shaft. So here, that was number one. I think this is number, no, that's not number two. Number two, whatever. Oh, number two. We're already on number two over here. All right, this is a thing of verse file. So this is the one I got to go on there, and that's all <laughs> lame. And then the uh, U joint, U joint, slop, no good. So uh, yeah, I redesigned it. I mean, I made this one, which uh, fit a little better. It's yeah, not the end. And then I did it again. And then I did it again. And then I just tried this. So I didn't like how it was whatever I didn't like how it was so they came up with that <clears throat> which I didn't I didn't like that either so here's the uh, semi-final ooh look at that no play this isn't a transmission I'm going to use it on but uh, yeah we're playing with RC cars and I'm printing uh, drive axles. So I got the uh, print orientation. Oh, there we go. I got some. You can see it is not straight up and down. I moved the axle pins. And then I got this. So I got that sort of like circle in there. So you could spread it open to put the uh, U joint in there. Uh, we're gonna see how it holds up. I printed it like this sort of orientation, you see, so that the layer lines aren't gonna want to split in any. It's kind of not. See, it's not printed directly that linear, that path, or this linear path. It's printed this way, so these are gonna want to. It's gonna want to. My theory is sandwich the layers together when it's driving we'll see that's all i have on this uh printing episode of printing random things <laughs>